Invest in success with Pub Quiz Prep. Hello and welcome back to Pub Quiz Prep, the trivia training school that allows you to reach the magnitude of your true potential. Now this time I bring you another round of trivia from volume number five. So volume five, round two, question one, let's just dive straight on in. How often do the Winter Olympic Games occur? Now, typically, how often do the Winter Olympic Games occur? Question number two, who served as the Russian president from 1991 to 1999? So who was it that served as the Russian president from 1991 to 1999? Question number three, I tell you what, I'll throw out a multiple choice one for you here. Is the praying mantis famous for being the highest flying insect? Is it famous for sexual cannibalism? Or having an animal film named in their honor voiced entirely by Barack Obama? So is the praying mantis famous for being the highest flying insect? Is it famous for its sexual cannibalism? Or is it famous for having an animated film named in their honor voiced entirely by Barack Obama? Obama. Next question, question number four. At the age of 17, who was the first unseated player and, I might add, the first German to win a Wimbledon singles title? That question again. At the age of just 17, so who was the first unseated player and the first German to win the Wimbledon singles title? Question number five. Esther, Danielle and Alana a sisters from California that formed what band using their surname as its title? Esther, Danielle and Alana are sisters from California that formed what band using their surname as the title? Question number six, who played Frankenstein in the films Frankenstein? Bride of Frankenstein and son of Frankenstein. Who played Frankenstein in the films Frankenstein, Bride of Frankenstein, and Son of Frankenstein? Question number seven. Who co-founded Birdhouse Skateboards and completed the first documented 900 on a skateboard ramp? So who was that person that founded Birdhouse Skateboards and completed the first documented 900 on a skateboard ramp? Question number eight. Who held the title of World Chess Champion between 1969 and 1972? Who held the title of World Chess Champion between 1969 and 1972? Question number nine. Shaped like a boot, what country borders the Adriatic Sea? Shaped like a boot, what country borders the Adriatic Sea? Question number 10. Who wrote the 1957 novel Dr. Zhivago. Who wrote the 1957 novel, Dr. Zhivago? Just take a moment to finalize all of your answers. Moments over, let's dive straight on in. So question one, how often do the Winter Olympics typically occur? Well, they typically occur once every four years. Now that being said, there was an Olympic Games in both 92 and 94 in order to kind of get them out of sync with the Summer Olympics. So they used to be on the same year. What happens now is you have the Summer Olympics one year, two years later, Winter Olympics, two years later, Summer, two years, you get the idea. But I will accept four years. Okay, I digress. Uh, question two, who served as the Russian president in 1991 to 1999? Well, of course, that was Boris Yeltsin. Just check the notes. Uh, yes, Boris Yeltsin. The praying mantis is famous for sexual cannibalism. Question number four. So what tennis player won Wimbledon as a 17 year old? He was unseated. He was also German, by the by. That was Boris Becker. Esther, Danielle, and Alana are sisters from California that formed what band using their surname as the, the band name? Hiam. H-A-I-M. Question number six. So who was it that played Frankenstein in all of those Frankenstein movies? None other than Boris Karloff. Now, who co-founded Birdhouse Skateboards and completed a 900 on a skateboard halfpipe, well that was Tony Hawk, and who held the title of World Chess Champion between the years of 1969 and 1972, Boris Spassky. Shaped like a boot, what country borders the Adriatic Sea? Of course, that is Italy. Half a mark if you got that one right. Who wrote the 1957 novel Dr. Zhivago, Boris Pasternak? Thanks again for playing along with Pub Quiz Prep. I do hope that this is helping with all of your trivia training. Until next time, have a wonderful week. 
Bye for now. Thank you for playing Pub Quiz Prep. Question everything. I regularly go home with the meat trays now.